as you read in the title, I'm running a marathon. July 28th. I've always been wanting to run a marathon, so I'm gonna be checking that off my bucket list. The trail that I'm gonna be running is called the Monin Trail. I think it runs for about 27 miles, so I didn't specifically sign up for a marathon, but I'm running the marathon length. I'm hoping some of my friends are gonna join me along the way, maybe for a couple miles. The specific training program that I'm running, I'm gonna pop it up here on the screen. Um, Honestly, this has worked out perfectly fine with me just because I also have to take time to put into recording soccer videos for you guys. But this isn't a soccer video, obviously, as you saw in the little transition I did at the beginning. And I'm actually out on a training day today. I have scheduled 7.5 miles. Kind of show you the trail. So this is the trail we got going on. I think this specific trail goes on for about 5.4 miles so as soon as I hit 3.75 down I'm gonna head back but let me know down in the comments if you want to see more videos of me training that way I can keep you guys updated about how my training is going this is week four of my training and I have until, until July 28th um, I'm honestly kind of nervous but I've always kind of been a runner um, Back in my high school days, I would run all the time on the trail that's right next to my house or my parents' house. And I don't know how much I would run, but I would run all of the time. But yeah, for today's video, I'm gonna bring you along my training for today, which like I said, is 7.5 miles. So I kind of keep you updated as much as I can, for sure at, towards the end. So you guys can see how tired I am. Whew, mile 4.2, oh man. Not gonna lie, those have probably been my fastest miles that I've done consecutively. But this heat, man, it's getting to me. My head's gonna be a baked potato by the end of this video. We made it to the end of the trail. So we did 4.2 miles in 38 minutes. It's pretty average. About to text Gabby that I'm on my way back just so she starts going back too. I'm not gonna lie though, feels pretty good. Oh yeah, that breeze is nice. But like I said at the beginning of the video, I've always wanted to do a marathon and honestly training for it has been one of the harder things I've done because you have to follow that training resume that you put yourself because if you don't, come race day, you're gonna be absolutely pooped. I know before, uh, on week one when I started, my average mile pace was I think 10.20. Now my average mile pace is about 9.30, 9.20. So it's still average, but it got almost a whole minute better. All right, time to get back to the run. I'll catch you guys at the end. All right, everybody. Just finished up today's training session. Oh man, 7.5 miles, one hour, 16 minutes. Pretty average, not gonna lie past couple training sessions that I've been running are not like this not when the sun is completely out it's been more of cloudy days or literal running and hail and rain but that first half of the seven and a half miles was a bit easier um, the second half came a little bit harder it's because my the bottom of my feet are on fire and my head is on fire and I just really needed to focus on my breathing, but I need to find Gabby, I think she went to Target. <laughs> like I said at the beginning, if you guys wanna see updates of my marathon training, let me know down in the comments, the marathon I'm running, July 28th, it's Saturday for me. Whew, probably gonna be one of the hardest things I do, not gonna lie. If you guys liked the video, make sure you go down, hit that subscribe button. I didn't sign up for a marathon, I'm just running this marathon for a YouTube video. So I'm doing this all for you guys and so I can cross it off my bucket list. But make sure you go down, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah, so the specific training program that... Forgot. <laughs> okay, I'm ready now.